This is Mark with Alaska Outdoor Adventures. We're on Birch Lake in central Alaska in the Tanana River drainage and we're jigging for silver salmon. These are stocked landlocked silver salmon, rainbow trout, and char. I'm using some ice flies that I tied up. Actually I can use these flies in the summer too. They look just like a snail that is the main forage for fish in this lake. so far and I've caught four, four fish already that one silver salmon you just saw and three rainbows they're really hitting this ice fly like crazy Water's pretty clear today. You can see a lot of what's going on down there. Got an underwater camera here. We can take a look at what's going on down below. char. All on the snail pattern. fish there. has some uh, odd looking scales like fungus on it. I'm going to keep it and save it for fish and game and have them look at it. It's a nice size rainbow trout though. since I've been here.
Bubbles. Char. colors. Silver. Okay. We're in the fish house on Quartz Lake. Uh, fishing for um, rainbows, uh, arctic char, um, landlocked silvers. They're all stocked fish in here. And we're um, using uh, cured, home cured 
salmon eggs are the best today and we're on we're using our own uh, hand tied jigs and they're we're doing pretty good and uh you getting a bite there ed i am oh get him get him how's pool. it going oh man that looks like a good one oh oh play him play him for a little bit if he's big one you we got to play him a little bit so he don't break the you know break the line let him wear out yeah, he doesn't want to how is he it looks good oh man Oh, man, I, the I saw the way he, uh, let me move over here, let me make him get a look at him coming up out of the hole. Oh, oh yeah. Got him in the hole. All right. Wow. That is a good one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes. Get him, put him in the bucket. <laughs> get him. <laughs> All right. All right. He's Whoa. Got me. <laughs> man, nice fish. Wahoo. All right, all right, way to go. Thank you. That'll be our probably our nicest one today. We probably should count our fish, make sure we're... It's definitely mine, my biggest. Yeah, all right, and you said you'd probably never caught a char before, but you caught a smaller one earlier today, and now you got that one. That's great. Wow. Ooh, neat. Please go outside. Neat, neat, neat. You put the whole bucket outside. That way he won't get back in. He won't get in the back down the hole. All right, let's have a look. Hold still. Nice, nice fish. Ed just caught a very nice char. And we're gonna. It's really nice. Our buddies are over here. Nice catch, Ed. Thank you. What do you think? Thanks. Look over there. There's our buddies over there. Oh, you got got a one. Got a nice one. How many did you guys catch so far? Uh, I'm on my fourth. Annalise is on her fourth. Wow. And my dad's on his third. All right. Look at this one that Ed caught. Holy moly. We're allowed to fish two holes each, so that's what we're doing. We've got uh, shrimp on the hooks for bait. We've also got salmon eggs, cured salmon eggs. And we've got uh, some uh, octopus. We do, we cure the octopus and in case the fish get really good at taking the bait off the hooks, and they do. We put octopus on there, it's a lot harder to get off. Uh, we cure the shrimp and the salmon eggs and the octopus the same way. It makes them a little tougher to keep keeps them on the hook a little better. And I'll see if you can see down in the hole there. See way down in the hole? That's our... You can see that little red thing right down in the hole. That's a, that's my, that's my uh, jig with a uh, with some bait on there. Pull one of your jigs out, Ed, and let us have a look at it. Let's see what we're fishing with. So, right there. Hold that up just a little bit. Let me zoom in on that here. We're using these hand-tied lead head jigs with uh, that's cured uh, that's cured um, shrimp on there, and we're doing doing pretty good today. Uh, we've lost a couple. Well, Ed's lost a couple, uh, and we've caught a few. We've got some nice ones outside the house, and we've got some. I'll give you. A, View of the ones in the bucket here. Oh, one in the bucket. Slide open the door there for a second there, Ed, and let's have a look at those fish outside. There's our fish that are outside. That over there. All rolled in snow already, but so we've got four outside. There's one there by the door, edge of the door, and those there. Those are all rainbows, I think. We've lost a couple chars so far today already. 
Anyway, okay, Ed, we can close the door. Oh, wait, let me took it. Let me go ahead and leave it open for a second. I'll show oh. him this bait again. There's the uh, hand-cured bait that we use right there. Self-cured bait. That's uh, cured uh, shrimp. Anyway, we're going to check out for now, and we'll check back in with you later when we're catching some fish. nice as your last one, but it's a nice one. Another nice char. Woohoo! Whoa! -ho -ho. Another nice char. They're just dead when they hit. Way to go, Ed. Thank you. I wanted to talk about a little bit about what we're fishing with today. So in the top hole row, those are a snail pattern ice flies. We can fish those in the summer too, and when the water is not when the water is soft. Also, uh, those are snail patterns that I just tied up, and they seem to be working really good. And um, the lower right, another little ice fly, kind of looks like a midge. And then to the lower, the lower right. We have a ice jig, a lead head jig, with fluorescent green and red tail. The lower left are the midge flies, the ice flies that uh, have been doing really good. We've been here probably an hour so far today, and I must have caught over 20 fish, I'm sure. Most of them have been on the snail. Uh, others have been on the ice fly. One, one, a couple have been on the ice fly. But that snail pattern right there has been the best. That's the primary food source for fish in this lake. And they've really eaten them up. These are my friends, Carl Hello. and 
Carl and Chandler and Annalise is in the truck. Say hi, Annalise. Hi, Annalise. So how'd you guys do today? Good. Chandler, how many did you catch? Eleven. Eleven. How many did your dad catch? Seven. Seven. And how many did Annalise catch? Five. 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 Wow, you guys did pretty good today. How'd you guys do? I heard some hollering. Oh. Well, we did pretty good. We got, uh, you guys can come over and look at these two char that, uh, Ed caught. He caught the, his, his baits must have been right close to the bottom because he was getting weeds every once in a while. Yeah. And he was catching more char than I was. I was catching mostly rainbows and I, I caught a few nice rainbows and Ed caught a couple of really nice char and we've got about probably two limits of fish over there. Let's go look. Let's go over and look at those fish. We haven't even counted them yet. We're allowed 30 because I'm catching fish for an elderly lady. I have a proxy for her. And we have... Uh, well, she told us to keep ours. Oh, no, that's okay. We got plenty. We got enough for her. We got enough for us. We got some of them on video, catching them on video. And we got both the uh, Ed's nice char on video. We'll just dump those out. I'll move over so I got the... Look at that nice char. Wow. How many do we have there, Ed? Four. Holy smokes. Look at that nice char. Hold up that char for me, Ed. That nice char. Two nice char. char. Ed's the char master today. There we go. There you go. Yeah. I am going to zoom in. Woohoo! Biggest char I've ever caught. Good job, Ed. <laughs> How many we got there, Ed? Oh. Those are the only two fish Ed caught today. 25? No, the film shows differently. He caught a lot of fish today. 27. 27 fish. That's almost our limit. We can, we can bring home 30. 10 for me, 10 for Ed, and 10 for my elderly friend. Okay, guys. All nice right. day of fishing. Thank you. All right. You betcha. We'll see you later. 